So we're here in the Lake District, actually at this pretty incredible place called Pavey Arc. And uh, we're here to climb this classic Dave Burkett E8 uh, called Impact Day. Now Pavey Arc is certainly not roadside. It's a bit of a trek uh, from uh, the Langdale Valley up a pretty steep approach um, up this sort of stair winding staircase up the mountain until you get to this beautiful uh, lake right atop uh, the plateau. And then you kind of circle the lake and then get right up onto the crag. Now, Pavey Arc has recently been thrust into the limelight with Neil Gresham's recent first ascent, one of the hardest trad climbs in the UK, Lexicon, which is literally one route to the right of Impact Day. And absolutely down Impact Day, it's been pretty cool to look across into the holes of Lexicon and kind of get like a small glimpse of what that climb is all about. Definitely think it's one I want to check out in the future. But today, we really want to do Impact Day. The rock type, I think, is rhyolite, which is like pretty much all the rock uh, here in the sort of mountains. And uh, it's just really, really hard to read. If there was no chalk on the climb, it would be remarkably hard to onsite. They're just, it's just like no, dis no discernible way of kind of figuring out where the handholds or footholds are. Every time you look down, there's just a sea of browns and blacks and mosses and, and just things that look like footholds but then aren't and things that you know could be footholds but then you don't know whether they are the right one to use and you've really got to put the time in I think to learning how to climb on this rock type and to really get your eye in on, on the on-site. But we aren't here to on-site this route, um, it's our first uh, hard trad route of the year. But we've already been trying the moves and it's feeling pretty good. The climbing I feel is somewhere between 70 plus and 80 in terms of physical difficulty. But there are definitely some bold sections of the climb, especially early on. That's protected by a mishmash of uh, small wires and cams and then some pretty well placed pegs, which I'm certainly glad they are there because without them, it would be a very different experience, especially the last run out to the, uh, to the top of the crag. Without that peg, Jesus, it would be one hell of a bold climb. So yeah, we're gonna just try our best and see what happens. I'm here with my mate Alex. He's also gonna hopefully lead it today. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna see what happens. So enjoy guys, it's time to go climbing. How are you feeling? <laughs> yeah, good. My hands are like a little bit cold and I'm not even pulled on. <laughs> yeah. So basically, uh, it kind of climbs up this section here, quite bold at the start. And then this bit here is all right. We need to have a run out actually to get to the peg. There's a, a wire there that Alex has found, which is quite small. Quite shit. But you said it was body weight. Um, well, my body weight. His body weight, which <laughs> my body weight is significantly more than his, so that might not be enough. <laughs> but then this is really good gear, and then you've just got to like flip and go up this mega head wall, which is all like probably like the crux, the crux of the climb. Yeah, so this bit is the scary bit. You have to get up above that ledge there. Grab this wee guy here. It's a bit of a move up to this, isn't there? That's right. Okay, so when you're here, you can place this totem there. Do you like that totem? I do like that totem. It's nice, isn't it? Maybe place this wee wire here. This is a very nice totem. It is a blue totem. It's a good fit there. It looks like it's going to break. <laughs> I wouldn't want it to break. It would be a bad place for it to break. These crimps are small. But they are sharp. Fingers a little... 
Yeah, no, I'm, so am I. I'm just just fine figuring it all out. Bump it up onto that wee guy. Bring the right hand in. Bit of a big move to that. And then step your feet through. Pocket. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that thing. Forgot about that. This wire here is quite important. There's a small offset wire just here. That'll be quite important for keeping this safe. This black totem is okay. Jug. Okay. Oh, look at my fingers. They're white. That's Raynaud's syndrome. It's a nightmare. I really need to warm up properly to get the blood flowing. One of the trickiest things about climbing on is rhyolite. You're looking for feet. It's like, this is like a sea of footholds. Like, which one do I use? Which one do I choose? Oh, jug. Yeah. This is going to be a nice moment actually getting here because you're like massive jugs, play some bomber wires, nice big cam, suddenly I'm safe. Yes, and then you've just got all this hard climbing to go. Making a right big zero this. Fingers are so fucking cold. I'm just getting rain on really bad on my fingers. Something serious is going on with my fucking fingers. It's so bad. Since last winter, I've been suffering quite badly from something called Raynaud's Syndrome. It's quite a frustrating condition where your fingers lose blood supply and go completely numb. Now as a climber, specifically one who does quite a lot of bold and potentially dangerous climbs, it's quite a terrifying prospect to lose sensation mid-crux. I strongly believe it's related to nerve compression in my forearm, which I spoke about in detail in a recent video about my injuries. But if anybody has any other ideas, please tell me in the comment section below or send me a message. I'm willing to try anything to make this better. That was better. See that, see that boss? Yeah. Um, so do you put it on? I'm the, trying to put it in it. In it? Yeah. Yeah, so there's like a little crease yeah. on the right hand side. Yeah. Do you put it on that? Um, uh, I don't know if it's on the right hand side, but it's like on a little crease or corner. I've just put a tick mark on the thing I use. Yeah. Just to annoy you. <laughs> no, I think you should have a look at that because it's a bit of a foothold. Maybe also just shoving it in the corner could just like straight in the corner could work. section I don't feel is like dangerous. Like you're gonna be in good gear there. You're gonna run out, you place that peg, that's good. And it's just like 
hurting on this last session. I was just becoming a sport climber. Just moving with no inhibition, just flip and go for it. I think I've sorted out the rain odds though, that's good. I need to sort out like, a little bit pumped. But this is a good wee rest. Just hang here for a while. <sighs> yeah, it is. I think I've got rain odds on my toes now. They've been hanging around for so long. Good fun. I mean, it's all safe from now. I just have to go and try hard on the sporty section. I mean, sport climbing. Good sport climbing in the mountains. Take me up to that guy. Okay, dude, I think I'll go soon. Yeah, I got
man. Thanks, man. man. <laughs> Thanks, man. God, that was nervous. I was nervous, yeah, like, but... first bloody hard trad route of the season, you know? <laughs> but for now. Did you, just feel a, did you just feel a bit jumpy on the... I just felt, I don't know, I just felt nervous, man. I was just like, I've just not led anything hard in so long. <laughs> <laughs> Above gear, I was like, fuck, I'm doing this. That was good. Yeah, it was good. It was good fun. Yeah, you got the experience to pull it off though, even if you do feel a bit first route of the season. Yeah. Nice. Good start, good start. Oh. Oh. There we go. Yeah, it's nice one, I'm safe. Yeah. Cheers, man. Thanks. Cheers, dude. <laughs> That's brilliant. Let's get climbing. Yeah, yeah. Come on, dude. No. Come on, dude. Fuck yeah, take. Nah, it's off. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, hello there. I didn't see you there. Just doing a bit of light reading, see? Hope you guys enjoyed the film. It was a shame that Alex didn't get it in the end there. But he'll be back, don't you worry. He'll be back. Whilst I've got your attention, I thought it'd be good to cover a few things that happened in the film, just uh, for your interest. For you particularly geeky Lake District enthusiasts, you may have noticed that me and Alex did actually start two meters to the right of the original start of Impact Day that Dave Burkett did back in the day. Well, there is a reason for that. When I arrived, I didn't actually know it started two meters to the left. And by the time I'd figured out the right-hand version, I looked at both, both starts and realized that the right-hand version was actually the logical line of weakness at the wall. Now, I just really couldn't be bothered to change the beta, so I went for the right-hand version instead. In hindsight, the left-hand version is 
marginally harder and a bit bolder. But you know what guys, I'm not going to lose any sleep over it, even if it does ruffle a few feathers. Secondly, I want to say a massive thank you to both Dave McLeod and my mate Joel for coming along on the day and helping to shoot. You know, making trad climbing YouTube videos is really hard work. And honestly guys, I don't have a professional film crew following me around everywhere. So I do rely a lot on friends and volunteers coming along and helping shoot on the day. You know, so what I often do is uh, use the funds that I make from Google Ad Revenue and the Patreon page you know, to help pay for a bit of fuel and uh, often take my friends out for dinner afterwards if they've helped, helped me shoot on the day. So if you guys do want to support the channel and you love what I'm doing, why don't you head over and over to Patreon and consider donating a little bit of your hard earned cash to help support the channel because it will make these videos even better. On that note, I think we'll finish up there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. The next one is a cracker. It's with Sport Climbing and Glenn Nevis and I know you're going to love it. Make sure to subscribe and ding that wee bell for notifications when the next video is out and I'll catch you next time.